tell you what, he is very happy where he is. That's hit to deep left field, and the Giants are trying to climb back into it. Eight to four. Next time, your husband, fiance, boyfriend. If you don't have any of those, your brother, your father, somebody close to you. The next time he does something that he feels is pretty significant, and he's looking for a little praise and recognition, <laughs> I want you to do this for me. I want you to give him a great big hug. I want you to tell him, great job, honey. But when he turns to walk off, I want you to just <laughs> pop him right in the butt. <laughs> now, you're going to scare him half to death. He's still going to like it. <laughs> Chances are real good he's going to make the bed again the next day, whatever it was he did. But I want you to email me, though. I want you to email me if something about it didn't make you feel good. I've been sharing this with thousands of women. I've never gotten that email, and I doubt I will today either. <laughs> we had a two-week delay. I hadn't played games one or two. As we say in baseball, I hadn't sniffed the field. Game three, after the earthquake was over, we waited two weeks, started game three. We were getting beat pretty bad again. About the fifth inning, Roger Craig put a few of us into the game. I went two for two, had a single, double, two RBIs, had a good game. After the game, Roger did a couple things. First, he popped me on the butt and said, good job, which I liked. <laughs> but secondly, he said, get your rest tonight. Now, you guys know what that means, right? You don't have to be a baseball player to know. What does that mean? I'm starting game four, right? Now, I'm a rookie in the big leagues, just told I'm going to start game four of the World Series. How much rest do you think I got after that? <laughs> well, I ended up having a great game. Every ball I hit that night hit that home run in the World Series. I remember rounding first base. I remember saying to myself, oh, wow, you just hit a home run in the World Series. I've been dreaming of that since I was eight years old. The next thought I had, though, before I reached second base was all the hard work. All the sacrifices, the commitment I had made after my ninth grade season was worth it. Every bit of it was worth it. So I chose to have a good attitude. Secondly, I had one goal. I was going to work as hard as it took to get back to the major leagues, period. What do you do when you get sent down, knocked down a notch or two? Maybe your organization has hit the wall, as Quint says. Do you whine, complain? Blame somebody else? Do you give up? Better yet, what are you going to do the next time it happens? I want to challenge you today. First, choose to have a good attitude. Secondly, make it your goal that you're going to kick, scream, scratch, claw. You're going to work as hard as it takes to get back on top. Your organization, you, becoming one of the best in the country is certainly worth attaining but it won't come easy. You have to persevere.